Welcome back, everybody. Lazlan back with another ARC Survival Evolved video. So today we are going to spend some time searching for some Rexes. Um, I'm going to put a clip on the screen here. Uh, level 100 is not, not good enough. So we'll throw the clip up right now, and then I'll bring you back and explain to you why we're using Rexes. About time. So yeah, as you can see, we um, we found a level 150 female, which decided whether or not we were going to use Rexes or we were going to use whether or not we were going to use uh, Wyverns. We've been spending lots of time in the last couple days just doing the loop. So you go up to this rock here, and there's I think two Rex spawns here. And then you come down this way, and there's a spot here that Rexes can spawn. And then you come up this way. Oh, look, we got a, another level 100. Come on, just give us another 150 so we can get some good breeding stats. So yeah, we spotted our first 150 over here. Uh, that's another 25. So yeah, we've been just doing this for a while. So we decided we're going to take some Rexes into the, the Mantic or fight. Which means as well as a couple higher, a couple more Rexes to get uh, high level. Oh, that's a high level Daedon. Shoot. We need a Daedon. And we need a Uteranus. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to bounce around here for a little bit. I'll show you if you find any good Rexes. We're going to search for another high-level Daedon, since we just killed that 145 like a dum-dum. And we're going to have to spend some time in the mountains looking for a Uteranus. Because with the if we were going to use um, Wyverns, they're flying around, so the Uteranus pretty much does nothing other than the initial buff. But with Rexes, we'll just get the Manticore to come down to us, and then we'll surround them with the Rexes and eat them, and then deal with any ground forces. So the other thing we need to do, too, is grab all the red drops we see and try and get some um, half-decent Rex saddles or a Rex blueprint. But it's tough. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to run back to the base, grab our Thyla, and we're going to do some caves as well. I won't show you any of that. I'll just bring you back for any uh, loot that we find. But... So yeah, this is a good spot for, for Rexes, as you've seen that it respawns so quickly. So like, I'll kill this Rex, and then I'll land up on that rock up there, and sometimes while I'm just getting my stamina back, you'll see a Rex spawn behind me. I've seen them spawn right there within minutes. So yeah, first things first, let's check this drop. Nothing. Nothing. Let's head back to the base. I got something to show you there. So as you can see, we've moved our base from down here. We got a couple more things to clean up and we've set up up top. You can see there's a couple of Rex heads poking out of there. So let's do a quick base tour. So this is our landing pad for our flyers. Tappy and RG sit here. This is our little hut. We've got a couple Jerboas. I had to tame this one the other day. Look at them. A little red and black. Love it. So then we come down here. This is our storage area. Blueprints. Our crafting. And then in here is our uh, land dino storage and our breeding. So as you can see, we've got... Um, why is this guy? Yeah. 
we got one low level. So we've taken the Rexes that we got, and I'll show you where did I put them. Was it over here? No. Maybe it's in that other box. Let me find them and I'll show them to you. Okay, so here's our original Rexes. As you can see, this guy here. Um, no, that was the bread one. So this was our tamed Rex. It was a once came out at one sixty four, and then this is the Tech Rex, and that's the other Tech Rex we found. So I just grabbed them because I would be really, really pissed off if I found a max level Tech Rex and I couldn't breed it. So I found a male and a female when I was cleaning up or uh, hunting Rexes. So I just grabbed both of them, and then I believe one of these was tamed out yeah one of the rexes in here is going to be non-imprinted her right there so this was the rex the original rex that i found that was the 150 that i showed you so as you can see she's got 33 melee and 30 health which is great starter numbers but we're going to keep looking oops we're going to keep looking for something a little bit higher level or higher stats so we want to get that if we can get that melee to 35 or higher and then the health to 35 or higher so we'll do a couple loops and while we're doing that we're going to hit a couple caves because i need like i said i need saddles but we have all the artifacts and i believe we have enough of the talons if not we'll get that done too i've spent so much time in the the wyvern trenches that i, and I haven't seen anything over a hundred and there's been no good eggs it's been really frustrating that's why we decided to go with the uh, with the Rexes. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna head back, uh, kill some more Rexes, and uh, probably go to Nasty first because it's the closest. Check any loot drops in there. Grab the artifact again, and I will bring you back if we see anything uh, worthwhile. But like I said, I'm gonna have to do some loops over the mountains looking for Therizinos and. Uh, another high level day on so we will uh, be back shortly for you guys and I don't know how long it's gonna take for me I'll check this one first yeah see there's it's been lots of spawning low levels I've probably killed god I don't even know I stopped collecting the the um, Rex arms so all I've been doing now is if it's fighting I'll just fly by kill it and if there's something there that's gonna eat it I let them if not, to just swing by and grab it and fly away. But yeah, so we'll see you shortly. All right, so we're back here. Been flying around looking for a UD. Killed a ton of them. Did a couple caves, got some more drops. Found a bunch of um, Ascendant uh, Desert Cloth. But not, no Rex saddles or blueprints or anything. A bunch of Lymantria and more Mantis, including a Mantis saddle. So nothing really worth the talk about, but this guy here, I don't know if we can see him. Um, let's see if we can spot him. Oh, that's the wrong one. Jeez. Good job. Now I got to fly back. I thought the colorful one. There was a 130 Deodon back here that I thought we picked up, but I guess we grabbed the wrong one. Hopefully he's not dead now. Now where were we? Um, I think it was right over here. No, those are all low levels. Come on, where are you? Okay, we're flying towards this white drop. Looking for UDs. Which is going to be another pain. Is that a unicorn? No, just a necklace. Which is going to be another pain in my butt. Um, it was right here. That's five, five, one thirty. There it is. 
Yeah, when I first initially spotted it, I thought it was the colorful one. I was all excited. Oop, we should probably land and get Stam here. Let's kill these two. Did you just really walk up and eat your buddy? That's kind of harsh. Okay, Stam's good. We'll circle around. Let's grab the right one this time. level 20, right? Okay, drop your butt off over here. So the one in the rocks there is the one we're looking for. Because without good saddles, we're going to need healing. Okay, so where are we at? Let's get him back. Her? Him? It? Him? Or her? Let's get her back to the the base, get her thrown in the trap, knocked out, and ready for some food. Um, we'll keep an eye out for UDs and stuff on the way there, and then when we get back there I'll show you the, the saddles and stuff that we picked up. But unless we spot a higher level to add on, no, 20s and 30s. I can't believe I let, killed that 145, it would have been so nice. That's the one that we dropped off in the middle of nowhere. Okay, where's our ridge? Gotta be getting close. Oh, looks like I'm not flying the right direction. So yeah, I will see you back at the base. Okay, so we got all the blueprints in our inventory here. So 172 Thorny Dragon Saddle. Couple of Mantria Saddles. Uh, we got a couple of Ascendant um, Desert Cloth, which is good. I have some on me, so I need to make the pants. Do we have the pants? And in desert cloth, we do. Sweet. So we can make a set. And chainsaws. Chainsaws for days for some reason. I don't know why it's such a prevalent thing to have chainsaw blueprints. Oh, the other thing, too. We did get an RG. A real nice RG saddle. That was a while ago when we were running around getting uh, loot drops while we are hunting... Wyverns. Well, let's take this and we'll drink it since we're thirsty. Okay, and then we got. What else did we get in here? Chainsaws. We got a couple other pieces of desert cloth, a prod, and journeyman leggings, and then a couple mantis saddles. Another really nice rock golem saddle, if we're ever going to use it. Move. Still can. Yeah, so it's uh, those caves have been pretty much a bust. The artifacts aren't spawning in. The half the time there's no loot in there. Oh, we got a nice uh, black chest piece too. Uh, are we putting? Yeah, we'll just drop it in here. Not really worried about it. Get that out of there. Rocket launcher. Might have to take that to the boss. Send a club and whip. Never could understand what a whip is used for. Once they fixed Ragnarok so that you could use, uh, so the eggs were spawning properly, I haven't used a whip since then. Okay, so we're going to start by what we want to do here is we want this pig to uh, do his healing thing. So we got to do some damage to it. Because as it heals, it uses food, right? Oops. Come on. Do your healing thing. I guess we can do some damage to it with the Trank Rifle too, right? So I think you got to shoot him in the lower jaw to get headshots. What is its food at? Oh, it doesn't say. Don't read the butt. Come here. Okay, do your healing thing, stupid pig. Okay, 
Anyway, you guys have seen me crank out pigs before, so we'll we'll bypass this. We'll come back. We'll see what stats we got. Not that it matters a whole heck of a lot. And then we will. Uh, oh, there's a there was a headshot. And then we'll go out looking from looking for um, uteranuses and better rexes still. I've pretty much given up on those wyverns for the time being. I've seen a 155 fire wyvern, but it uh, hadn't laid an egg. So, but yeah, we'll be back shortly. So, Porky has been born. Let's get the name. Okay, so now... We're going to head back into the mountains. Day dawn and Rex's. So, again, we'll uh, see if we see anything exciting. Um, I've got everything for a trap, so it should be pretty easy. Come on, high level Megatherium. Jeez. Why can we never get a good one? Oh, about time. Stats are crap. Oh, well, let's get it tamed, see what it can do for us. Come here, Rexy, Rexy. Come here. on top of this thing like we've done in the past and get it tamed up okay so we found a 150 male that has uh, 37 health a 145 female that I don't think she has anything better than what I currently have a 140 with 40 health so I know that's better and then a 135 female with 36 melee. So I don't think this 150 is even going to be in the contending. Yeah, it's a wasted. That was a lot of darts for nothing. Uh, so I think we need to add this female in and this female in. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this female in with the male. And let's get these guys all picked up. Okay, so that's all our female Rexes. So what we want to do is we want our 226. So this is our bred male. So he's got 33 melee. I'm going to throw him down. And we want that new female with the 36 melee. Okay, so we're going to get these guys breed, and I'll bring you back when we've got them combined, and I'll show you what we get. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. <clears throat> Come here, Yudi. Come on, you see me. Get in here. Come on. No, don't try and fear me. You just get your butt in here. No, 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 no. There we go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, yes. About time. Where is it? Oh, well, maybe that's... 
them over there. Oh. Okay. Well, we've played this game many times. Let's get this done and get back to the base and see where our Rexes are at. Okay, so we've got those stats combined into this 232 Rex. See the 36 melee there. So now what we need to do is combine that Rex with the female with the 40 health, and then it'll give us a 36 melee, 40 health start. <clears throat> and I think we're going to probably spend a little bit of time getting some mutations. I won't go super crazy, but we'll see what we can do. So that didn't take too long. Had enough time to cook dinner and get the kids set up for what they're doing tonight. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this little guy raised up. Start breeding him with her, and we'll be back when they give me exactly what I need, and then I'll see you then. All right, so here we go. So you can see now we have the 242 with the 40 health, 37 stam, and 36 melee. So we got a bunch of females there, and then the single male. And I'm going to add another bunch of females on this side. And then we're going to start going through mutations. I don't know if I'm going to do a melee and a health mutation stack or if I'm just going to go with combining mutations and working it on up. But yeah, so this was probably a couple hours. Um, we're going to continue on this for a while. I got uh, Netflix with the new Masters of the Universe on the side. I'm watching that while this is going. So I'll bring you back. We're a couple mutations in and show you the progress. Okay, see you then. Okay, so it's been a very long time. And we are at three health and one melee. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go much farther than this right now. Without a mutator, this is taking a, a long, long time. So we might just uh, do this for another hour or so. And if we don't get anything, I'm just going to start breeding up boss fighters at level 250 so next time I bring you back we will either have a higher level uh, mutated mutated male or we will have 18 boss fighters ready to go and our UD and Porky over here have been leveled so I got him he he started out at 187 and he's 251 now, and then this one was 194, and he's 252. You can see they both have a ton of health. Uh, this one's got a ton of food so that it can keep up with its healing. And this thing's got a ton of stamina so that it'll stay alive and keep everybody buffed. So yeah, that's the plan moving forward. So we're going to get that done. And like I said, either we'll see you when we're ready to set up and go get set up for the boss fight. Um, yeah, either way, they'll either have level 250s or we'll have 252 or 254, but I'll keep at it for a little bit more and then we'll see you just outside or at the, uh, the obelisk and we'll end the video there and get ready to go into the boss room in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. All right. Welcome back everybody. So as you can see, we have 18 Rexes in our inventory. I still got to level them up. They're just in the cryobore balls uh, healing a little bit. We got a couple um, that got a little bit more mutations, but it was on the female side, so we couldn't use them. So we got primitive saddles on them, and we're ready to go. So we'll take Bellowing Bob and Porky with us here when we head down to the, the Manticore summoning spot. Um... But we need to level these guys up. So I'm probably going to get you know 40 or 50 levels on each of them before we get there. So we'll do that in the off time. So yeah, if you guys uh, like the content, do the YouTube things. Like, subscribe. Come back next episode for the Alpha Manticore fight. And we will see how that goes. But as always, thank you very much everybody.